Good morning. Um, it may be afternoon for you. It may be evening for you. I have no clue. However, today is October 23rd. I have three guns in front of me, a couple of tail feathers, some ammo. Uh, we have two CZ over and under shotguns, and we have a Winchester uh, pump action shotgun. Um, I've got some video footage of a failed, but fun, and we learned, so successful um, fall turkey scout. Um, we did some spring turkey and saw a bunch. We tried fall and you'll see in the next uh, few minutes of video that uh, we had a good time and saw some cool some, uh, some cool stuff. But uh, fall turkey didn't work out so well. However, pheasant and chucker hunting was very successful. We'll talk a little bit about the guns. Um, so uh, I'll be back to do this stuff in here in just a few minutes. So hopefully you find the next few minutes entertaining. We'll see you soon. Alright, so I feel stupid and goofy and everything, but we're going to try uh, fall turkey scouting for the first time ever. And I have a fall turkey scouting buddy. So hello, fall turkey scouting buddy. Hello, fall turkey scouting yeah. buddy. So we just, got, uh, we just got to our destination to sign in. And we'll go see what's in the woods. Oh, hey, there's another another fall turkey hunting buddy so hello fall turkey hunting buddy he don't talk much and we're off and as bobby would say we're doing it on a shitty iphone camera we're gonna go see if we can find some birds out in the woods Yeah, so we've been walking in the woods and uh, haven't seen any birds in my main field where we spotted birds last time, a whole bunch of them. High activity field. Hey guys, slow down just a little bit. Uh, now it looks like this. grass is a little too tall for turkeys but we're gonna walk a little bit further and see if, if we can spot anything I'm not looking promising so we haven't seen any turkey there's a big buck right in front of me I don't know if the camera's gonna catch it or not like a 
about a six pointer. looking dead at us. Yeah, he's, he knows we're here now. I hope the camera can pick him up. He is just about to the right of that tree right there. Oh yeah, he was he was standing broadside of us. Yeah, yeah he's he's got he's got a deadlock on us. Just don't move guys, see what he does. Yeah he yeah he sees us. He just perked up. Alright, you're done. You'd, you'd be smoked right here, buddy. You you would be dinner. I don't know. Alright, so. And he's still just. He's just. De I mean, he is perfectly broadside looking right at us. And he is, he is maybe, what, 50 yards, Bobby? Can you range him? I'm going to kill the video, and uh, we might be back in a minute. We don't know. Yeah, so definitely no go on Turkey Fall 2021. All the fields uh, are grown up, and these are the only fields I've hunted since I've lived in Indiana. But we did see that uh, that buck. He was a he was actually a really good sized buck. Uh, we all knew that if we had a gun on us, uh, that dude was smoked. He was ranged at what'd you say, 55, 50? 56. Uh, so, I mean, a rifle. That's almost like cheating. He had no freaking idea we were there until we decided to grab the camera and then sneak up on him. Uh, we could have probably stayed there for 30 minutes watching him. But anyway, that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, no go for uh, fall turkey. Uh, might resume this video on Saturday and just make it one uh, because we're going pheasant hunting in Ohio. Uh, pheasants and quails. So uh, maybe then uh, we'll review the guns that we're shooting as well. So Deuce. So it's been about three seconds from the last video for you guys. It's been about three days for us. Uh, as you saw, we didn't have any luck uh, on our turkey scout. So today is the day that we are heading out to Ohio to go bird hunting, which is something we have never done. Uh, the guns that we will be taking today are a CZ... Uh, woodcock 12 gauge over and under excuse me uh, we will also be taking a uh, cz drake over and under and we'll be taking a winchester sxp pump uh, obviously single barrel so those are the guns it is very early uh, we're loading up i'll be back in a little while in case anybody was wondering any indiana is really really flat and here we are again. Uh, yeah, so we are officially gassed up and ready to roll. Gonna go find some birds. Actually let the guide and the dog find the birds and we'll see how many we miss. Uh, you might remember turkey hunting buddy number two. Again, doesn't talk much. And turkey hunting buddy number one back there. Yeah. Not even paying attention. So, hey. We'll check back in a little bit. Uh, two and a half hour drive. If something fun happens, I'll let you know. If nothing fun happens, we'll see you in two and a half hours. Been an awesome trip so far. We can't get any of the phones to connect to the Bluetooth in the truck. So we've had no tunes. And just the hum of the road, which for some people is very soothing, apparently. Bobby's on autopilot. And we're about halfway there. So that was an uneventful two and a half hour drive and we have reached our destination. We're gonna go get checked in, see what the deal is, come back, grab our gear, and uh, hopefully shoot some birds. All right, so we're checked in and uh, ready to go shoot some birds and all good stuff. Um, for guns today, Braden's gonna be shooting a Winchester SX, what is that thing, an SXP? Yep. yep, Winchester SXP 12 gauge pump. 
Uh, I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna be shooting a CZ Woodcock 12 gauge that I'm gonna put together here in just a second. And Bobby is shooting a CZ Drake. And again, they're all 12 gauges. So uh, we're gonna go meet up with Logan. He is our guide for the day and we'll get some, maybe get some footage and shoot some birds. Let's see how it goes. Hello guys and gals. So I just smoked the first bird that uh, flushed. That was not on camera, but I smoked him to the point where I don't think there's any meat on him. Uh, <laughs> kind of, kind of split him in half. Uh, but first bird that flew, <clears throat> one pull, one hit. So uh, the guide said at least he had good tail feathers left on him. So that's uh, Bobby out there on the left and Braden on the right and Logan who's our guide and you might be able to see. I don't know the dog's name yet, but he's on point. So we're gonna watch these two flush one and see what happens. Those, those two. Well, he's laying it back down. <laughs> Did he wing him? <clears throat> so do we go to that one or we come back for it? Right now was a hell of a shot, bro. <laughs> that had some distance. Nice shot, dude. Outstanding, sir. All right, Bobby. You're up, bro. Make sure you're on safe, Braden. What's the dog's name? Uh, Boone. Boone? Yep. Okay, so we learned the dog's name. Dog's name is Boone. Well, Braden didn't uh, smoke his bird. He got his bird. That's good. At least, at least you left meat on yours. All right, I'm gonna pause this clip for a minute and when we get to another bird, I'll put Bobby on. All right, Boone is on point. Go ahead, Bobby. Hey, if he comes over the top, I'm gonna duck down, so don't be afraid to turn around on him. Boone's on point. Logan's going to flush. Bobby's right up there. There goes Bird. Come down. Come down. Come down. All right, that bird's still... He's still in our wheelhouse. Yeah, so Boone is on point again. We've uh, knocked down... <coughs> Four birds, I think, total so far. Goal is 12. And uh, I've pulled the trigger on three and hit two. Uh, Bobby's hit and Braden's hit. Uh, we've all hit. Uh, so yeah, this is, a, this is a pretty good time. Uh, on this one, I'm going to uh, follow the bird and try to get some footage of Braden and Bobby shooting. So, right yeah, so I'm staying, I'm staying back. You got Bobby and Brayden. I'm staying back on this one. Oh. That was a miss. Oh. 
I see where he's coming down. And I see him. He's out there on the on the ground, back in the air. So that concludes today's hunt. Uh, we were going for 12 birds. We ended up uh, killing nine. We don't know and didn't keep track of how many were pheasants and how many were chuckers, but those were the birds that we were shooting. Bobby hit bird, Brad hit bird, Braden. Yep, that's Braden. Braden hit birds. So uh, really quick, we'll, we'll, I'll do a, a kind of more in-depth review on the, on the shotguns a little bit later today probably. Uh, but this one that I used was the CZ Woodcock. Bobby has this Drake over there on his shoulder. Of course, again, Baden's still got that SXP in his hand, but we'll do a more in-depth review. But as far as real-world first impression, I am glad I did not buy a $2,500 shotgun uh, because this one goes bang when you pull it, and it hits birds. So good job on the, on the CZ. Bobby, you agree with the CZ? You can't see him, but he gave you a thumbs up, so... Uh, we're going to mosey out of here, get a photo uh, with our birds, and head back to Indiana. See you in a bit. Hopefully you got some entertaining footage out of that. I'll go ahead and apologize in advance for any rain and noise that you hear, but it's nice outside. It's about uh, 55 degrees, and it's raining, and it's just really quiet and nice in my neighborhood today. So I'm kind of enjoying that. But So the, the first part of the video that you saw, we did a spring hunt in those fields saw numerous turkeys um and we decided we'd go back for a uh, fall hunt but uh, as you could tell the fields were all grown up turkeys weren't out in the fields there was no way we could see them roost uh had no idea where to go so we canceled that trip but we had already had the trip planned for yesterday uh which was saturday to do the uh the pheasant and the chucker hunt and that was actually very successful um we do live in Indiana, so obviously no wild upland birds. I think the closest wild birds to us would be Western Illinois. Um, so these were, I don't know the verbiage again. Like I said before, I'm not a professional hunter or anything. Uh, this was our first attempt at that. So they, they cage the birds and then you buy the birds. They go out and place them in the field and the dog goes and finds them. Then the guide walks out and flushes them. In this case, in the video, he kicked a couple to get them to fly. Um, and we shot the birds and we harvested the meat. We did all the breasting and all that good stuff yesterday. So we're going to find some recipes and cook those up later today um, and see what happens. So uh, let's just review the guns a little bit, I guess, um, and, and talk about those. Uh, we'll start with what Braden was shooting. Braden's my son. Um, behind a rifle, he's probably a better trigger guy than I am. The kid can hit dimes at a at 50 to 75 with a 17 HMR um, on about a five power scope so uh, the kid's a great shot uh, he was using a Winchester uh, SXP 12 gauge shotgun uh, it is a pump uh, everything is cleared obviously I don't have any ammo on it well, I do have ammo on the table but don't don't worry I'm not gonna load anything um, this gun weighs I think seven and a half pounds uh, Braden's 15. Um, he did very well with it. Uh, he shot trap with it before. Uh, this is also his turkey gun. Uh, he was running an improved cylinder um, for his choke. And it, I don't know if you noticed in the video or not, but one shot that he made uh, on a bird was every bit of 50 to 75 yards out when he hit it. And he dropped that bird. Um, missed it on the first shot, caught it on the second shot. So uh, he did very well. Uh, my nephew in the video, uh, the, the guy that doesn't talk too much, uh, Bobby, uh, he joined us for the, for the hunt as well. Uh, he's moved up from, from Tennessee uh, here to Indiana as well. Uh, he was shooting a CZ Drake 12 gauge. Um, I believe all these guns, I know, the, I know the CZ Drake and the CZ Woodcock are both 28 inch. I cannot remember if Braden's is a 28 or a 30, uh, but they are all uh, 12 gauge shotguns. They are all uh, three inch chambers. 
the ammo that we were using was a Fiocchi um, Golden Pheasant 12 gauge, two and three quarters, uh, number five shot. Um, so it, obviously you saw the videos. Hopefully that was entertaining to some degree because it was a hell of a lot of fun for us. Um, both the, the failed scouting and the successful birds. So we had a good time. Um, so let, let's get into the guns a little bit. We'll start with, um, obviously we, we talked a little bit about Braden's SXP. It is a pump shotgun. Um, I've shot it before. The, the, the line of sight when you aim that gun is very, very natural. It, it feels really good. Um, and he wasn't interested in getting an over and under. So he uses his for, for trap. He uses his for target. He uses his for, in this case, birds, um, you know, pheasants and chuckers. And, and he did a hell of a job. Uh, Bobby was using the CZ Drake, again, 12 gauge. It is an over and under. Uh, we were running, I believe, I'd have to pop them out to see, but I'm pretty sure we were running cylinder and then improved. And me personally, my preference is to fire top uh, barrel first and then bottom barrel. Um, that's just the way I shoot. Uh, I know a lot of folks do bottom barrel first and then top barrel, so that's all a preference thing. Uh, these guns both come with ejectors. Uh, actually, I, I take that back. I think the I think the Drake has extractors. I don't think it has ejectors. Um, Bobby had a couple misses. Um, he likes the way the gun feels. What what we were talking about last night when we got back. He has a hard time coming from you know a ready position to a firing position because he's not used to getting that, that, that cheek weld on the on the on the stock uh to get that line of sight but he's getting used to that uh he's never bird hunted before um he's uh, he's been behind the the uh, rifle for trigger time we've done some pistols and stuff like that but he's just getting used to shotguns so um you know he had his fair share of struggles but uh, for the most part he did a really good job he had a blast um all pun intended uh i was shooting the CZ Woodcock G2. Now, with this gun, there are two different versions of this gun. Uh, there is the Woodcock G2, and then there's the Woodcock um, Deluxe. So, I really like the Deluxe. Um, it's about $1,000. The difference between the G2 and the Deluxe, the G2 does have a vented um, midrib and it has a Prince of Wales um, stock back here, so it's not a true pistol stock. Um, so it's a little bit more rounded off. It did feel really good. I saw one in a store one time, but uh, for the price point, I went with the uh, Woodcock. That being said, um, the Woodcock seems a little bit more, re ro little bit more robust um, as far as the lockup and all that. The stocks are very, very similar the the g uh, the g2 woodcock does have a little bit more indention here it is color case hardened it's a gorgeous gun and for the price point it's hard to beat the drake in comparison is black steel i wouldn't call that blue i'd call that black it does have a little bit of engraving on there and just not as much detail work on the stock uh, the wood looks a little bit uh, a little bit better on the uh, woodcock. You can see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see a little bit more wood grain in that stock versus the straight grain in the in the Drake. Um, these guns come in. I think the websites and the the specs on them come in like seven point four pounds. I just call that eight pounds. Uh, we were in the woods, not woods, I'm sorry. We were in the fields for about two hours, maybe, give or take. Um, they weren't uncomfortable or heavy to carry, but after after about an hour and a half, um, you can definitely tell us there's some weight to it. So let's get into what I did last time and do the initial real world first impressions. So I have never shot a bird in my life. I've never been bird hunting in my life. Um, these were caged birds. They set them out. Again, dog flushes them, all that good stuff that I already said. I don't want to talk twice, but you know me. I ramble. Um, 
on that note, I would have never done a second video, but I've got 6,000 views on my previous video and I've got 21 subscribers. So I'm not saying anything about me. That just means you guys are kind of, you might be interested in what I'm saying. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing another video uh, a little bit differently. Um, I have no video editing skills or anything. So this is on an iPhone camera and just me yapping. So um, I ended up getting the first bird because I was standing closer to the guide. The first bird that took off was a rooster. He was a ring, uh, ring neck uh, rooster pheasant. And when I shot him with this load, number five shot Fiocchi's uh, golden pheasants, all I saw when I pulled the trigger was just a poof of feathers and uh, didn't even have to fire a second shot. And the guide was like, man, you smoked that bird. That wasn't a good thing. Uh, because this bird was nearly cut in half. And I'm not kidding when I say cut in half. The only thing that was holding this bird together was its spine. Uh, there was no meat to uh, salvage out of this bird. The only thing I salvaged out of that bird that I plan on finishing just a little bit uh, were his tail feathers. Um, I did pull those off the bird uh, yesterday when we got home. Um, but first trigger pull uh, on a bird with these guns or with that gun, um, nailed him. Um, so then I had to make myself uh, count to two or three before I pulled the trigger to let him get out a little bit. Uh, but again, you know, bigger spread on my first shot, a little bit tighter spread on my second shot if I needed that. Uh, and you can see, I think in the videos, a little bit more of that, um, you know, some of those second shots. The uh, chuckers obviously flew a little bit different. They would take off and kind of plane out really quick and stay low. Um, they're a little bit harder bird to shoot, a little bit smaller. Um, but again, we got, we got some of those. So we ended up, uh, getting a total of six pheasants, two of those are roosters, uh, and we got six chuckers. Um, so initial review on the gun, I like it. I think I need to do a little bit of tweaking. I haven't found any shims or anything to get it exactly where I want it. So when I draw it, it's not, I'm not looking straight down the, I guess, the, the bore, uh, not bore sight, but I don't know. It, 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 does, it doesn't feel perfect. Um, I feel like I have to come a little bit higher on my shoulder to see straight down um, the, the rib and, and see my bead. So I'm shooting over and under. We realized that when we took these guns out uh, a few days prior to the, the scout and the hunt and shot some, uh, uh, some trap and we didn't shoot, <laughs> we didn't shoot very well. I think we hit maybe uh, combined the three of us. I think we hit 15 out of like 60 birds or pigeons clay pigeons um but the other gun that i was looking at was a 25 or 2800 uh connecticut shotgun it's called the revelation it's a 20 gauge gorgeous gun has the english stock uh, it also has the the color case hardening like this gun um and i really like that color case hardening it kind of gives it that classic look um but I couldn't justify as much as we shoot, as much as we hunt, which is not very much. Uh, I couldn't justify that that much money. So this gun, uh, I think after FFL transfer and everything, I think I came in right around 700. Uh, the Drake is a is comparable. I think it was a little bit less. And Braden's SXP that we've had a couple of years, I think we've got 350 in that gun, maybe um, something like that. Um, so. They do the job. Um, talk a little bit about the differences because obviously, you know, the Winchester X SXP, it's a, it's a 12 gauge shotgun. It's a pump action shotgun. It's all synthetic. It's black. It, it, it's a field gun. It's not a, it's not an heirloom quality gun. Um, so we'll talk about the differences in the CZs real, really quick. Um, the, the differences that I've noticed. So with the Drake, obviously you don't have the, the color case hardening. It is black. Um, the lockup is really nice. The brake is really nice. It locks in nice and tight. Uh, it does have a barrel selector. It does have the safety. Um, you'll notice on the mid rib, it has a mid rib delete because you can see me and I can see you. So it's got a mid rib delete. Uh, it does make the gun a little bit lighter. It does allow a little bit. Um, it does allow for some more uh, heat dissipation and all that good stuff. I don't think it actually changed the weight of the gun. Mine, when you when you hold these two guns, you know, side by side, mine is a little bit heavier, but not dramatically. 
um, on the Woodcock. Again, this is not the Deluxe. This is what they call the G2. Uh, mine is a solid rib, uh, mid-rib. Now, this is all going to be personal preference because you'll see a solid mid-rib. You'll see a vented mid-rib. And then you'll see the mid-rib delete. Um, pros and cons. Is, again, it's personal selection because a lot of people say that the solid mid-rib, you know, the wind will affect you a little bit. And with the mid-rib delete, the wind goes through. Uh, with a vintage, you get the benefit of both you know it's kind of like the, the combo type thing um i'm happy with the the gun selections uh this was bobby's first gun that he's ever bought and uh he was happy um referencing the the earlier footage he did give a thumbs up that he enjoyed shooting the gun um brayden loves his XX, uh, sxp he, he shoots it for everything um the Woodcock does have ejectors, so you'll hear it. Well, I guess you didn't hear it that time, but it'll, it'll click when you. There it was. That's the ejectors. So they're not extractors, the ejectors. But what I noticed when I was in the field, if I just kind of cocked it this way, it acted like an extractor. So I'd come down just a little bit more and it wouldn't eject my spent shells. I could grab them, pull them out. I didn't have anything get stuck or have to pry anything out. I could just grab them, pull them, and reload. Um, so I, I am super happy with this gun. The first bird that we shot was not on video. You did hear me reference it in the video. Uh, that first bird I split in half. Uh, it is early season. Today is October the 24th. And that bird was pretty close range I'm thinking maybe 15 yards when he took off um, and I think we should probably have gone with maybe a, a seven shot um, to not destroy as much meat and things uh, the owner of the uh, preserve that we went to he ended up coming by on the Polaris and checking us and seeing how we were doing uh, Logan was our guide great guy Boone was a freaking awesome dog um, I hope you don't mind. I'm drinking my coffee. I don't want to, I don't want to be rude. Um, when he pulled up, he's like, man, that, that's a good looking gun. He goes, you don't see that, that, that case hardening on a lot of stuff these days. And we talked a little bit about the Connecticut that I was looking at and this gun, um, Franke makes, uh, the, um, instinct L the instinct L is also, um, a color case or color case hardened, however, I don't know what the verb is. Anyway, it's got that, that charcoal case hardening on it. Uh, higher price point, about double the price of this gun. Um, but Franke is also owned by Benelli, so I'm, I'm sure it's a quality firearm. Uh, that was probably gonna be my second choice. But uh, that's what we shot. That's what we learned, that's what we found out. So if you're looking to get into bird shooting, don't, you don't have to worry about you know spending two thousand or, or twenty five hundred or looking at the Caesar, whatever they are, um, you know eight nine thousand dollar shotguns. You, you don't need that. I guarantee you, you could go out with a Mossberg five hundred or a Remington eight seventy field and be able to hit birds. Um, it's a good time. Um, we will never in our lives shoot anything that we don't plan on eating as far as a live animal. Uh, we'll, like I said before in other videos, we like to shoot uh, targets and stationary things. And um, on occasion we'll shoot the trap. We don't, we don't shoot skeet. Um, but um, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know really where to take the video from here other than we had a great time uh, again, specs on the guns. I think they're all 28 inch. Braden's might be a 30. I, it, it looks like a 30 when I'm lining up the trigger guards and Braden's barrel does extend out approximately two inches. He might be shooting a 30 inch, uh, barrel. We ran, um, cylinder and improved top and bottom. And we, we had a great time. Uh, we had a successful hunt. We had a great time being out in the woods and hopefully um, you'll find some entertainment and you know, maybe learn something in the video um, with it all compiled for the last couple of days. So great time turkey scouting. Can't wait until spring turkey season because that's where we see them. 
Um, we will go bird hunting again. Uh, we're thinking about reaching out uh, a little bit further beyond our comfort zone and uh, maybe doing some um, deer hunting next season. Uh, we're kind of bouncing around the idea of doing bow hunting. The video footage a little bit earlier of the uh, buck that we saw at 50 yards, uh, I, think they, I think they ranged him at 55 or 56, something like that. When we saw him, we walked right up on this buck and he was a big bodied buck. Um, makes me want to kind of entertain the idea of maybe doing some, some bow hunting for deer. Um, from the friends that I've asked and the folks that I've talked to in Indiana, it used to be archery only until just a few years ago when they started using or allowing rifles. Um, for rifle hunting, I will use the, the gun that we review or that I reviewed in my very first uh, YouTube video, which was the uh, Ruger American Go Wild. Um, 6.5 Creedmoor, and I'll probably go over the Hornady uh, ELXD round, um, hunting round for that instead of a target round. But anyway, I could sit here and ramble all day long. That's not why you watch the video. You kind of want to see what these guns look like in action. Um, one more thing to point out as I'm sitting here looking at them, the, the Woodcock just looks more robust. It, robust. it looks wider, like it's a little bit taller than this Drake. The stock pistol grip handle is a little bit beefier, but you have a, a, a more pronounced uh, thumb groove here than you do on the Drake. As far as a recommendation for the price point, you could go either way. Um, they're, they're both great guns. We never had any failures of any type. Um, as long as we did our jobs, we hit and, and we harvested some, some meat and we're gonna look at some recipes and cook that stuff up so i hope you guys got something out of this video i would have never made another video until i saw uh, six thousand views on my other one and 21 subscribers um i don't know maybe you like my beard maybe you like the content i don't know what it is i'm not doing this for money i'm just doing this for fun um so yeah i mean questions shoot them to me i'll answer them i try to respond to all my comments um that you guys send uh, if I missed any details or if there's anything else that you want to know, um, shoot me a message, you know, or, or you know, post a comment. I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to comment on it. Uh, we had a great time. These guns all functioned the way they're supposed to. You aim, you do your job, you pull the trigger, and uh, you're going to get a result. You're going to get a hit. So um, I guess that wraps it up. You're probably done listening to me, and I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys have fun shooting, whether it be recreational or hunting or whatever the case may be. I'm going to make my own little new sign-off and, and saying keep your powder dry or I love you, and I'll see you next time like Matt does in um, Demolition Ranch. Um, I'm just going to say uh, be kind, man. Be real, and uh, deuces.